Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, we are back for uh, a rank one video for um, Nabunoga. Um, yeah, we got it. So um, basically what happened is I decided to, um, out, of, out of sheer frustration, uh, throw some tickets at Ibarra and I managed to get a couple Ibarra so I could get EX1. And then once I had EX1, it was like, okay, if I have enough EX levels to like work some other units into my team and can make this work, um, I'll be able to do a rank one. And then as I was starting to like brainstorm and try out a couple things, um, somebody in my Discord, Horatio, um, who I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tag in this video because um, this this strategy ultimately ended up being his. Um, I just made some adjustments that kind of fit my gear and my team. Um, and um, yeah, he, he was working on it and was just like, hey, you know, check this out. And so I did it and it worked. Um, but I want to talk through what he did. I'm going to link his video in the description as well, um, because his, um, his is where this came from, um, but it doesn't have any dialogue. So I wanted to go ahead and talk through this and, uh, show you the gear and like talk about everything. Um, and then, d then do the clear, um, and the, uh, the, the, uh, turn chart's going to be in the description as well. But first and foremost, thank you very much, Horatio. Um, and, uh, this is what happens when you, you communicate with me directly is sometimes your stuff gets shown in, in, in a video. Um, now, um, before I get into that, I have done, um, I, I did just kind of playing around with it, do, do a couple different, um, burst turns, um, and did, you know, did burst and, and cap on all of them with all the mods turned on with, um, a dark rain Golbez Ibarra team, um, with a just Golbez and Ibarra team. Um, went really really well um, but this one ended up being a lot more fun um, using using some some fun units um, so let's go ahead and dig into that and we'll talk about the um, the uh, the units and the gear first which is a request that um, that uh, that Tony Ortiz made so uh, Tony here you go gear first ready to go okay let's go ahead and turn the gear camera on and we'll go ahead and uh, turn all of our mods on as well here we go 350 Okay, so here is our team. We've got Chow, Sylvie, Esther, um, Olive, uh, uh, Lilith, and then, of course, Ibarra with her leader skill turned on. Um, and you can see their espers and stuff there. We'll start with Chow. Um, Chow is going to be starting in the shift form. He's got the Empress Rod, um, Hairpin for just re regen and HP and stuff like that. Fiendish Armor for mitigations. Galbana Lilies for morale fill. Um, and then just more morale fill and stuff like that. This lets him wear um, wear rods, you know, refilling HP and MP every turn. Very cool. He is wearing the Sacred Shield sh or the uh, the Charlotte Vision card just because it gives more um, more HP. Um, gives him the Spirit Cap. It also gives him you know more uh, resistances. But that's the shift form. Base form is where he's going to spend the entire fight. He's wearing Abigail's um, rod. If I had Abigail, I'd be using Abigail. Um, mine is at EX2 only, so she does not fit the EX requirements for this team. Otherwise, wearing his buckler, Kryla's veil for more resistances, fiendish armor, blizzard orb for some counters, um, Abigail's gear. Um, he is wearing his intrinsic ability, which you know does bulk him up quite a bit. As you can see, he's got 52,000 health. Um, winged Heart, Cool Beauty, Unquestionable Loyalty. We're capped on Spirit, True Double Hand Spirit, and a HP. Pretty cool. Um, and you can see his resistances here. You know, plenty of fire, plenty of dark. Um, we're, we're in good shape there. Very cool. All right. Um, next is going to be Sylvie. Um, Sylvie is wearing um, basically the same gear in both forms. Double Batons. Um Pause of Prosperity, um, HP for Crimson Fury, so another hairpin for Regen, Lilies for morale, um, her own TMR, um, some just morale filling stuff, dual wield, um, Vilk's Vision card. If you don't have Vilk's Vision card, go ahead and run one of her Vision cards. We just want double um, dual wielding for the morale fill. And like I said, she's geared the same uh, in both forms. Uh, weirdly, I put Phoenix Synergy on for the shift form. I'm not really sure why. Um, she does not need it. Um, but uh, there you go. You know, more morale fill, or more HP, more morale fill, whatever. You know, it's cool. Sylv Sylvie does Sylvie things. Um, here's Esther. So Esther's starting in the shift form, um, and she's wearing a peppermint rod for more morale fill. Um, she's got the ability to wear rods from, you know, a feminine ability. Um, she's got Call the Wild for LB fill, um, Pure White Blessing for LB fill, Advanced Weaponry for LB fill. 
um, Luminous Clothes for LB Phil, Eurytia's stuff for, for HP, Memorial Ring for Morale, Galbanilis for Morale. Um, and she's got the um, Sylvie Vision card. So um, she's not really here to do a ton of damage. She helps with her chaining and she puts up an LB damage field. Um, and that's really it. Um, she does fill morale the first couple of turns. Um, and she's pretty cool with that. Um, in her shift base form, which is where she's been for the rest of the fight, after the first couple of turns, um, she's got Peppermint Rod again for morale fill. Um, guts has to have a form of Guts because she's going to be eating an attack on uh, turn 7. That's really bad. Lilies, your hairpin, you know, whatever. This is just for MP. Um, and then Eye of the Dragon. If you don't have this, it's okay. Um, she, that just means you need to be using her um, her LB on a couple of turns. But Eye of the Dragon helps her do you know that without having to worry about her LB. Um, so there you go. LB is not really that big of a deal for her. Um, you will do more damage with her LB, but this this ends up working just fine. But if you're struggling with your damage, use her LB. Um, there you go. Um, Olive. Um, she's got her own gun. Lynx hat. If you don't have that, something with LB damage on it is preferred. Um, this just works perfectly for her. Yuna's necklace for LB damage. Um, bangles for killers. Um, Celestite gear for stats. Uh, indestructible light because we need it um and then just killers and chain speed there you go um and she's wearing the ayak or the um the cherished gift vision card this is the one and it's got killers on it um demon killer on it so that lets her um gear very nicely we're going to show you her her breakdown she's got true double hand lb damage um human and demon killer maxed out there you go um and so you could do that um pretty easily if you've got all that stuff Lilith is doing a uh, sword build. Um, she's got Sword of Light. She's got over she's got over eleven thousand defense, so that's pretty gnarly. She's also a provoker. She's got chain cap up for Magister's Armor of Light. Daisy's just for more defense. She's capped on HP and defense, um, and then she's got her own TMR, um, True Double Hand from Pride um, Killers. Again, she is capped out very nicely. More than enough H uh, LB damage. Human and Demon. Um, she's got 50% evasion, but she's not really, we're not really worrying about it too much. Um, and she's provoking. There you go. Um, she's got her own vision card. Thank you very much. I don't have the, um, her, I don't have the special one from her banner, so she's wearing hers. Awkward. It's got killers on it, so that's good. And then Ibarra. So in the base form, she's got a Magister's set because we don't have EX2. She has to be wearing a Magister's set. Her own TMR and STMR. I used a Moogle on her. Um, ruler's gear, emperor's ring, hateful agent, um, and then just true double hand, and then killers and LB damage. Um, she is wearing um, the uh, normal Ayaka vision card. Um, this is again for like killers and stuff. Um, in her base form, she's got LB 300, true double hand magic, um, human and demon. Very good. And then the shift form is the same. You know, so we're wearing the same stuff um, and we have the same you know same same spread she just has um a little bit higher magic in that form and that's where she's doing her really big burst of damage um so i'm gonna go ahead and pop up my turn chart and we'll go ahead and run through this clear and we'll show you the actions on screen um and we will uh we'll do that so if you're if you're just wanting to look at gear first there you go let's get into this clear okay if you haven't done this fight before here you go um, boss is going to obviously hit you with the gravity attack on turn one, and uh, that's pretty annoying, but we can deal with it. All right, I'm going to be referring to my turn chart a lot here. Um, without Melissa on the party, um, our first priority is we have to um, get morale going really, really fast. So we're going to start with Chow. Um, in the base, he's going to go back to the base form, and then is going to use um, Guard Dog for cover. Guardian's Blessing, um, and Focused Inspiration. We're just going to start pushing that morale as hard as we can. To help us with survival, Sylvie is going to do Burgeoning Defense, Compassionate Knight for a little bit of a heal, and then Elemental Vines for morale fill and buffs and stuff like that. There we go. And now um, we need to check Esther. So Esther needs to be able to cast Shatterbolt one time. She doesn't have it here. So we're going to hope that with Lilith's um, abilities that she's going to fill Esther up just enough to do Shatterbolt. So we're going to do um, we're going to do her cover skill, Unstoppable Corruption for um, Dark Imbue, and then Kiss of Rapture for a heal. 
And we're hoping for a crystal to drop right here. Looks like we got it. And she did. Perfect. So Esther is going to use Quantum Storm on Chow, Shatterbolt, and Energizing Bunny. If you didn't get Shatterbolt to, to run, it was not the end of the world. She just needs to do something with her third action. Or you could just start the fight over and get one crystal to drop on her. Um, but there you go. So she's just going to go ahead and do that. Very good. Now Olive is going to do... Um, she's going to do Gunner Guardian. And then just break, break, killer, killer. For Morale Fill. And Ibarra is going to use Anun, Jinmetsu Prayer, and Kimetsu Prayer for killers and morale fill and all that goodness. There you go. Chow tanks a couple of hits like a boss. <clears throat> and now we're really in good shape. So... First things first, Chow is going to um, help us out with some LB fill for Ibarra by using Guardian's Holy Flame on her. And then use Guard Dog and True Guardian. There we go. Anytime Sylvie wants to stop auto filling, <laughs> she's wearing a lot of stuff. She's going to use um, pa Paladin's Resolve, Elemental Vines, Elemental Petals. I said that backwards. Y'all don't care. Olive is going to do break, break, killer, killer, and melon ammo. There we go. Um, Lilith is going to use bar darkja and then use her cover and kiss of rapture one more time. Esther is going to triple shatter bolt. Very good. And Ibarra is going to Dancing Slash. That's her base form LB. Um, so we're just going to do those in whatever order. It doesn't really have to chain or anything like that. There we go. We're not really trying to do damage here. That's just going to start powering up Ibarra. All right. Execution order. Chow doesn't care that much. We're doing good. Okay, very good. All right, so Ibarra is going to go first on this turn, and she's going to hit us with um, Endarka to do Amplify for the rest of the party. Um, then she's going to use um, um, the Wish of Vengeance and then her um, Tsukiyo ability. Um, so that's going to power her up. There we go. Um Chow is going to use Guard Dog and then Loyal and True. Very nice. Sylvie is going to shift. She's going to use Paladin's Defense. It's going to give us Mirage stacks. She's going to use Poach Demon on Lilith. And then she's going to use Clever Paladin Strike for a Sword in Peril. Um, and just to fill a little bit of LB for everybody. There we go. Esther is going to go to the base form, and she's going to Bolting Slice three times. And there we go. Olive is going to just reload. And Lilith is going to also just reload as well. She's doing Bardarkja, Cover, and uh, Rapture. There we are. We're about 33% morale. That's pretty good. Here's going to be our burst turn. Now, <clears throat> if you are trying this clear and you find that you are not doing enough damage, I want you to not do exactly what I'm doing. I've found that when I do this clear, um, I do too much damage on this turn and I push the threshold here accidentally. Um, so to prevent us from doing that, we're not going to use Paladin Sylvie's um, Leaping Love before we burst. It's kind of funny to say that because we don't need it. Ibarra is just that good. If you have that turn, if when I have it turned on, I'm doing like 3.1, 3.2 billion, and that's just way too much damage. So we're going to not do that. We're going to use Chain Lightning on Xiao, Chaining with Esther's S, uh, base form limit burst. 
Olive is going to be doing hers. Lilith is going to be doing her SLBs. And then Ibarra is going to shift up and use Dark Gray Sky. So we're not going to use Sylvie again. If you are finding that you're not doing enough damage, go ahead and use Sylvie and see if you can do it. I can't. So we're going to send Chow and Esther first. Wait a little bit. Send Olive and Lilith. And then send Ibarra last. So it's going to go like this. Even that was too much damage. <laughs> we pushed the threshold. This is like not going to work. Shucks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video right there and come right back so that I can uh, try that again without bursting too hard. Be right back. Alrighty, as you can see, we're back on turn four. We're going to try that again. Again, Xiao using um, Chain Lightning, Esther's uh, base form LB, SLB, SLB, and Shifted Limit Burst. Dark Gray Sky. And we're going to try and not do too much damage again. Perfect! 51%. So that should be just fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and use Leaping Love just because it's available. I don't want to, like, you know, mess with things too much, but there you go. And Leaping Love. If you're not doing enough damage, go ahead and do Leaping Love. 2.8. Perfect. Now, since we did not push the threshold on turn five, on turn four, we're gonna go ahead and push it on turn five. And that should be a very easy push for us. Um, Chow is gonna go ahead and do uh, Guard Dog, Loyal, and True Guardian's Blessing. Just for morale, Phil. There we go. Sylvie is going to also do morale fill. She's going to do compassionate night, vines and petals. There we go. Esther is going to use bolting slice three times. It's going to fill up her LB as well as just like do some damage and some chaining. Um, we're going to have Lilith um, do Kiss of Betrayal three times. Now she is also tag chaining now that she's used her SLB. So that's going to make it very easy for us to cap with Olive. Ibarra is going to use Demonic Cleave to chain with all them. And Olive is going to use Break, Break, Killer, Killer, and cap with Dual Summer Shot. Um, we don't really need it, but I like to use these morale buffs whenever we can. I'm not going to use the defense one because we don't need it here, but we're going to save that for later. Um, but then we're going to uh, use it here in just a second. So here we're going to go. We're going to just send Olive, wait a little bit, and then come send the other chainers. Olive, go. There we go. We only had to do 2% health, so not too bad. Boss is now going to heal up. And that's his entire turn. I love that turn. It's a good turn. Okay. Now, turn six is another turn where we need to have Ibarra go first. She's going to go back to the base form. And she's going to use Endarka one more time. Um, and then she's also going to do Anun and Jinmetsu for the, um, for the human killer. After that, Sylvie is going to shift, and she's going to do a demon killer. She's going to do Poach Demon on Lilith, and then just Clever Strike twice. Fill in LB gauges, doing demon killer. Very good. Um, our Chow is going to do Guard Dog. True Guardian, and look at that. We got Focus Inspiration again because we had that nice little gap turn on turn five. Chow can keep his mitigations going. In your face, screwy Chow rotation. Okay, um, Esther is going to just chain Bolting Slice. Um, and Lilith is going to do her cover skill, Unstoppable Corruption, and then Kiss of Rapture. There we go. And um, Olive is going to prepare her for her next big burst. She's going to do a break, break, um, a gunner guardian, dual summer shot, 
and then uh, fire cannon fire to do that on her our, our big burst on her next turn. Because it's available, we're going to go ahead and use um, attack and magic buff here. Very good. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to send Olive, wait a little bit, and send the other two chainers. So Olive, wait a little bit. I know we just do a tiny, tiny little bit of damage. It's okay. Execution order is totally fine. Remember when I said during the gear section that um, Esther was going to eat a bad turn? This is where Esther's going to eat a bad turn on turn 7, but she's got guts, so she doesn't care. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to start with Chow doing Guard Dog, Loyal, and True. Yep. Sylvia is going to use Leaping Love because we're bursting. There we go. Again, if you're if you're really struggling to do damage, you could use Esther's um, Bunny Bolt Blitz here. But if you have Claw the Dragon, want to use Claw the Dragon, you absolutely can. Totally fine. Um, Ibarra is going to use her base form LB here, chaining with Esther, um, as well as um, Lilith and Olive. And we're just going to kind of send everybody at about the same time. Um, you know, you could, if you really want to get crazy, you could send Olive and Esther first, and then Lilith and Ibarra. Um, you know, it's a thing you could do. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, it's going to look kind of like this. Nice little chunk of damage. And there goes Esther. <laughs> so Esther gets the guts there, you know, so she's totally fine. All right, turn eight. So to prepare Chow for later, Chow is going to use um, re-raise on himself um, and then use guard dog again and true guardian just to keep on pushing the morale score. That re-raise is going to be important um, on turn nine. Um, uh, Sylvie is going to use offense and defense and then a clever strike again to just fill LB. Esther is going to use bolting slice. Uh, we're going to use kiss of betrayal here. We're going to shift up Aribara. And we're going to use two cleaves and Demonic Retribution. They're all gonna kinda chain and Olive is gonna cap this turn. So it will look just like before. Um, break, break, um, a one killer, a giant melon, and dual summer shot. It's available to us, so we're gonna go ahead and use um, our attack and magic buff. Um, and we're gonna do the defense and spirit buff next turn. Um, but we're gonna do the attack and magic this turn. So we'll just send Olive and then wait a second and then send everybody else. So send Olive, wait. Pretty good, 44%, not bad. Gravity attack, we don't care. But we do need to recover from it. So Chow is going to use um, Kiraja twice. And then Guardian's Holy Flame on Lilith. Notice Lilith does not have her S, her um, regular Limit Burst here. We're going to use Guardian's Holy Flame to get it. Okay. There we have it. Um, Lilith is going to... Or we're going to use... Um, we're going to use Poach Demon on Lilith. Or no, on Olive, sorry. And then two clever strikes. Lilith is going to use her regular limit burst. Ibarra is going to use her shifted limit burst. Esther is going to chain with Claw the Dragon. Um, and Olive is going to um, break, break, um, giant melon, dual summer shot, 
and then finish with her Magnus. We're going to use our buffs on this turn. Okay. And we're going to, um, again, send Olive. We have to go a little faster this time because we're, we're, we're shooting on turn four or on action four. And then Ibarra has to cap in there somewhere as well. So we'll, um, we'll just go ahead and send Olive. That Ibarra, man, I'm telling you, she slaps so hard. Chow dies, Chow comes back. We're good. Okay. So now we are on turn 10. We're going to finish this thing off. Very good. Um, and to help us with that, we're going to, of course, use our attack and magic buff, because I love to. Um, we're going to uh, use Claw the Dragon here. SLB. SLB. Um, Sylvie is going to use her Leaping Love to boost us up one last time. Thank you, Sylvie. Wait for that animation to finish because I don't want to crash my game. There we go. Chow is going to shift. And if you have enough LB for it, you can use Bestowment of Courage. I don't in my run ever have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, a Bolting Strike four times. Or you could do three times and then finish with like a Prosperous Light so your chain doesn't break. Um, it doesn't really do anything for your party. Um, but... Um, you know, if you're worried about your chain breaking, you could do that. Or you could just use Chow's Fun Time four times. Um, and then Ibarra to chain with Chow is going to just use Demonic Cleave. So we're going to have Extreme Nova, Extreme Nova, Extreme Nova, and then two Bolting Strikers. Um, and so I'm just going to... We've used up our buffs. We only have to do 10% health. Um, we're just going to kind of send everybody all at once. Chow did a couple extra hits there at the end. We don't really care. We did a nice little burst of damage. And we're done. So let's see if we can get a nice item to drop for us. Perfect score, you know, all the modifiers on, perfect score. Um, and as, you know, as expected, Ibarra is totally carrying um, with Lilith definitely helping and Olive in there as well. Esther, you know, is not here for a damage. She's here for chaining and her LB damage field, which is nutty. Um, but there you go. Let's see what we get. Um, I am not... N There's a piece of me that kind of would rather have the VIP coins than the EX ticket. So let's switch that. There you go. So there you have it. Um, so I'm gonna put the turn chart in the um, in the the comments and the description, um, and then also um, big big shout out to Horatio for you know the suggestion. You know Esther was definitely not something that I was immediately thinking of, but I know you love to use her. Um, so you know the LB field is just is just ridiculous, and the Ibarra is just ridiculous on her own. So I, I definitely do not regret throwing you know. 20 tickets and getting two copies of her got really really lucky um and um definitely looking forward to seeing what else she can do once i get her to higher ex levels in a couple of weeks um you know with the vip coins and stuff like that so there you have it um hopefully that is helpful to you if you're looking for suggestions about um you know swaps or replacements or you know um things like that you know let me know in the comments i'm happy to try and address that um and hopefully you're um able to get your own rank one um at, at this point honestly i'm just like if you got ibarra <laughs> if you got ibarra and the ex levels you should be just fine um but yeah for now we're gonna go and you guys be good to each other we'll see you tomorrow for tuesday preppers whatever that's gonna be who knows um have a good night guys